The Pregnant Husband, Chapter 2, The Bedroom Bully. She immediately wanged the white bed sheet to the pink bed cover, then rolled the two to her thighs. She sat on the bed, then slammed Arrow's position to feel something wet, warm and soft. Ava shouted at the husband loudly that we also heard. She summoned him back to the bed, then ordered him to switch on the lamp. While he stammered with a query why she was such cynical in the middle of the night, she barked at him thrice to shut up. I rested his buttocks on the bed while the feet remained on the tiled floor. He stretched his face with the eyes out and stared at her who pointed at the spot she expected Arrow's excrement to be. She sent him countless insults as he elongated the hand to touch the source of night trouble. Ava yelled at the idiot in her bed. She promised to divorce him after giving birth. Slowly, Arrow unfolded the sheets to the heavy substance. Ava promptly closed the eyes, then pushed herself to the extreme corner of the bed while covering her nose. She wanted to regurgitate as she closed the mouth as well. Arrow shook the head in disapproval of what the fingers touched. He pulled out a sack of used wipes and threw it to Ava's laps. She hollered at a psychopath who dumped his steel on her. You fool, she yelled. She made a loud alarm that my wife Ella pestered for my intervention. True, it was requisite. However, I was used to Ava's battles. I hugged her then settled everything with a lovely kiss and rested our heads. The noise did not halt. Ava ordered him to take the rubbish off her pretty body before she called the police, but Arrow instead jiggled, which lured the wife to open her round blue eyes with threatening fury. Silence hit the room at once as she asked Arrow why he put the sack on her body as if he did not know where the rubbish bin was. Shameless Ava had deliberately refused to take a shower and waited for the husband to snooze. She then opened a box of wipes which she used to clean up her whole body until she got tired and lost energy to throw them away. Ava went online as waited for the man to wake up such that he could deposit them. She passed through different social media platforms until sleep accidentally dragged her to dreamland. The couple wriggled during the dark hours as the pack slid downwards. At the minute of waking up, Ava could not recall what she had done a few hours back. Now that everything was under control, she ironically lamented that the lamplight was so nice that she could sleep easily. She repeated the same statement into Arrow's ear, who weakly raised his hand and did the needful to a woman who paid back by jeering. What a wife! A few seconds later, she reminisced that the mosquito net was not properly stationed. She shook him and whispered to him to go and fix it. However, he turned her down. She threatened that a mosquito was knocking on her side and it would endanger both the mother and the fetus. My brother got up, checked the bed perimeter as she sent for drinking water. It was at this stone that he learned the net had no problem. Arrow stood facing the open fridge and regretted the day he met Ava. Anyway, it was Arrow the simple one. He never got tired of his wife's mood strings, for the midwife had warned him about the vulnerability and temper vicissitudes as weeks elapsed. Maybe this gave him some comfort 
as he got back with a glass of water. As soon as she held it, she made a tactical outcry with one hand holding the back while the second released the glass to rain some water onto Arrow's side. It, he expected her to say sorry, but confronted him for looking at her as if he did not see what took place. Ava flipped the sheets from the bed and threw them at Arrow, who rushed them to the bedroom from where a blue basin received them. He stood with the hands touching his waist, cogitating on how he was to nap on a wet mattress. Ava stopped talking. She moved out of the bed and brought a pair of sheets in which she wrapped herself well and breathed as if she was in a deep sleep. When Arrow fell the course, she put an excuse that waiting the last pair was imprudent, therefore it would be of value if he found the custody in the sitting room. Poor Arrow carried the, poor Arrow carried the pillow and the visitor's blanket then he crossed to the living room. Time being the greatest healer, the night passed like that, and the couple had to go for Antinento. Honey, please prepare me some omelette. Do not add cheese, requested Ava as Ara replied with a hesitant good morning message. With closed eyes, he stretched out of the chair to sit his right leg on a wet floor. Oh, it was so cold that he staggered towards the door where he grabbed the doormat and dragged it to the spot of interest. While the left hand squeezed his eyes, he walked to the bedroom for a shower. Darling, the eggs are on top of the fridge, not there. Hurry up, I'm hungry. Impatient Ava intoned. Her voice changed immediately when she saw Arrow delaying. He made an excuse that it was rule number seven of her house laws that went. Never enter the kitchen when dirty. He picked a red toothbrush in the extreme panic, then he poured excessive paste, which he used hastily. Unfortunately, the anticipated white foam turned out red on spitting because he had hurt his gums. By coincidence, Ava pushed him to the wall using her right hip while entering the room. She had no time to look at a slug. She picked her blue brush from the rack as eyes caught a glimpse of the floor. How old are you, Arrow? Do I need to lecture you about brushing? What kind of a man are you? You have two minutes to clean up this blood before I throw up. Otherwise, you will do double work. She spoke while moving back to the bed. The moment she settled, eyes landed on the closet with scattered gubs, which the husband had forgotten to iron and hang. Arrow had washed the previous afternoon after housework, then attended the webinar with his clients, which took three hours. By the end it ended, by the time it ended, it was eight o'clock and rushed to prepare supper before Ava returned. Poor Arrow had no time for clothes that night. He picked them from the wire and threw them towards the closet and attended to other duties. Now that Ava quarreled, he did not want to argue with her. He apologized immediately as he finalized with showering. When he asked for a towel from her, she went to the sitting room and inquired, whether he was lame. Arrow moved out of the bedroom and wiped himself using a white towel, ironed a pair of grey jeans and ready polo shirt, then three dresses for Ava. He never bothered her with the questions, for he knew her stupid answers would ruin his day. 
arrow crossed to the kitchen where he found dirty dishes. Oh, he bent the head into them for five minutes, then mopped the floor to the corridor that led to the dining room. It was at this juncture that he comprehended the entire house was untidy. He embarked on this activity, then went back to the kitchen. He served the wife breakfast who had already dressed to kill. Arrow looked at Hava and picked her black heels, which he brushed while cleaning his shoes. Can't you figure it in your mind that I put on silver heels when I wear a dress? No wonder you're a mediocre. I pray I do not give birth to a less baby boy, otherwise I will throw it away. She belittled her husband as if she hit the cup as she hit the cup on the table. May I have my purse from the bedroom? I left it on the bed. She sent him. Arrow was like a fool. He watched the woman humiliate him to the ground and did nothing. He closed the door as the couple walked to the hospital.